Hello everybody. So today what I want to show you is how we can deal with syslog messages in ANC. So I will show you the configuration part and what we can do with this. So let's begin with it. Um, so first of all, I need to find my IMC server of course. Here it is. Okay, so I connect to my IMC server and already without doing anything, except the fact uh, to configure syslog to send messages to IMC, we can already see all the syslog messages received by IMC when you go to alarm, syslog, browse syslog. So here you will see all the messages. Okay, so yeah, there is many debugging one, but I think I should have also some informational one. Yes, yeah, I have some informational one. Okay, so as you can see, the issue is that you can see this by browsing the syslog directly here, but you don't have automatically this in the alarm browser of IMC. And moreover, many times it is not really easy to read. And if I go to alarm, you will see that I can't see this kind of alarm. Okay, so first thing now is to create a template in order to identify the syslog messages we want to deal with. So I will show you the example of a um, syslog message I receive when I log in to my uh, Wi-Fi controller Aruba. So I connect, so I can see the syslog message I receive when I connect to my controller. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm connected. So let's go back here. In both syslog, you will see that here is the message I have. Okay, so I will copy paste this message in order to treat this in my syslog template. So in syslog template, I will add a template in order to identify this login syslog message. So I will put Aruba controller login. So the template content, uh, so I will put this here, okay, and I will uh, put some something else after. Description, okay, description, um, detect login on Aruba controller, fine. So now let's deal with the message. So this is here the text I received. So I will use pattern matching in order to identify some variable I will use later in my alarm I will see in my alarm browser. So for example here I want to identify this. So name and IP address of the network device. So I will, uh, so since there is this kind of sign here, so I will use this kind of so star means any characters, one or many. Okay, and I will also do this like this. And after, when I have something after this symbol, this symbol, sorry, I will put this in a variable. I will name uh, user, no, device, device name. Okay. Okay, so after I have this symbol, it's okay. And then I have, ah yeah, I want to know also the connection type. So I replace this web user interface by a variable dollar connection type. Okay, after that I have this symbol to see where the connection type finish. And I put a star, star until user. And what is after user is my variable named uh, username, for example. So let me put dollar and username. So I will put admin as uh, logged in from. And I also want the IP address from where he connected. So I will repla replace this IP address by. Um, Dollar IP uh, user IP user IP. Okay. 
I think this should be okay, so I can save. And if you want also to change uh, how it is displayed in the Bruce syslog, you can put a rule here in order to change this. So I won't do it, but you can. So I click on OK. So now I am able, INC is able to detect this kind of syslog message. You should see, okay, I, have, I already made the, the logout before, but I have the login here. Okay. So now I want to tell IMC how to translate this in an alarm in the alarm browser. So I go to syslog to alarm. Okay. And then I will create a new rule. So add. I will name it Aruba Controller Login. Okay, description detects uh, uh, detects uh, login and Aruba Controller, for example. Applicable to everywhere. This look type any. This look level any. Statistics, uh, yeah, I don't want to. to so I will generate an alarm if I have one time in one second the alarm, the syslog. Uh, level, I put it warning, so it is easier to see. And alarm description, so this is the where the place where I will put my translation of my system message. And here, syslog template, I can select the template I just created. Uh, Aruba, Aruba, where is it? Uh, login, I said. Yeah. Okay, so I can see my template here. Um, description. So what should I put? Uh, user. My parameter, username. Username. Connected. Um, just, no. just connects. On device uh, device name parameter uh, from user IP and what do I have more? Uh, yeah, I have connection type through dollar connection type okay Okay, I can also put some statistic in the classifying code, submit code, so using the parameters, okay, doesn't matter. And if I want also, I can put a recovery rule in order to automatically recover the alarm when I received another system message. For example, a logout. I will do this because I already made this uh, logout syslog template, so I can select this here. So let's put a short description. Uh, Logout. Okay, and I select the template I created before for logout from the controller. Okay, so you can see the template I already made. And I want also to map uh, the parameters, all the parameters, finally, because I want to be sure it is the same device, same connection, same user, and same IP. So let me select all, and then I click on OK. Okay, and now my template is ready to be used. And, uh, yeah, only one last thing, very, very important, because otherwise uh, I think the, this won't work. Uh, you need absolutely, if it is the first time you make some syslog to alarm rules, you need to remove some alarm from the filtering trap in the trap management, because otherwise, uh, or you will, you wish, you, you you can also configure some uh, some information in the duplicate. Okay, but in this in this one, in the duplicate trap filter co configuration. So if you don't modify this, you will have to wait this kind of this kind of, uh, of uh, information before you can see the the uh, the syslog. So mandatory select here. So I put a filter on syslog query, and absolutely you need to select this one in order not to be filtered by the, by the rule. So this is really, really important. Okay, so now I can reconnect to my uh, Aruba controller here. Okay, so I have been logged out. Okay, and I connect uh, with my account, and so we'll see 
in IFC. Okay, so if I go to alarm, I will see my new here message, my new alarm, so coming from my syslog message. So it works. Perfect. I have my message I want. User admin, just connect some device, app controller, and so on. So this works. So thank you very much, and uh, have a nice place with uh, this syslog in IMC.